Hey guys, Natalie here with the Pampered Chef. I'm putting together um, a brunch for my girlfriend. And I just woke up, so as you can see how beautiful I am. Um, and I'm doing the brie, my favorite thing. Apricot, jalapeno, spicy pepper, brie, something. I don't even know what it's called, but it's on Pamper Chef website, and I'll put the link below. Uh, so make sure you like my page, and make sure you click subscribe, and all that business. Um, but I just wanted to show you the like one, two, three, four, five of making this brie because it's so easy and it's so yummy and everybody's going to love it. And like I'm doing, you're going to make it on your own. Okay. So first thing, well, first thing's coffee. <laughs> Second thing, just a baguette. No big deal. I came over here, sliced them thin. I'm only doing half a recipe because it's just me and my girlfriend and her kids. And I don't know if they like brie and it's jalapenos. So no big deal, but normally I would have like almost probably two and a half rings. And these are not big, these are little. So these are little babies. Boop -doop 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 -doop. On my um, large white round stone, which I'm obsessed with, um, it's beautiful. I just got all the other pieces too, all the new white stone pieces. So step one, I mean, step one is coffee. Step two, cut the bread. Step three, put it on your tray. Okay, while I'm doing all this, I have my brie out because your brie is supposed to be room temperature. It just makes it a little easier to do things with it. So whatever, it's hanging out four inch with a rind. Boop, hanging out over there. It's been hanging out. Okay, so for this recipe, hold on a second. I have the recipe card. I laminate them so they stand, they stand hard. This is you're supposed to use a half a cup of pecan halves. That's what I have here. A little over actually. Um, one jalapeno pepper, a quarter cup of apricot preserves, which I find is like way too much pecan and not enough preserves. So I just make it how I want to make it. So I still use a half a cup of pecans. I chop, 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 which I'll do in a second. I chop, chop, chop my jalapeno, which depending, this has one jalapeno, but depending on how spicy you like it, then the stem's falling off. Mm -hmm. um, depending on how spicy you like it, then, I mean, use what you want. And then my preserves, I like mine like apricot and saucy, so I add way more than a quarter cup to my half a cup of chopped pecans. You'll see, I'll show you. I'll show you what a half a cup of pecans chopped with a quarter cup of apricot preserves and the jalapeno looks like, and it looks like it needs another half cup of preserves. So, watch me. Chop, chop, chop. Okay. Nifty difty. Yeah. So, got my little food chopper going on here. You can put them all in there. They all fit. <laughs> Just shove them in there. <laughs> Eat that one. Boom. Let me get you closer. Itty bitty, teeny tiny. Choppy chop chop. Throw it on my small batter ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then, dun dun dun. I do the helping. Oh, let me fix you. stem, slice it down the middle, try not to touch it too much. I normally have gloves that I wear, I'm lying, that I can wear, that sometimes I do wear, sometimes I don't wear them, because sometimes I don't care. But I do have a little son who's two and a half, so I try not to get too peppery. I'm just going to do a half a pepper today, cut it in quarters, throw it under here. Get to chopping. Check this out. Yeah, I had to do like, where's the camera? No work. <laughs> it's like 
like the not most not professional videos ever, but they're my like real life kitchen videos. So I figured, I mean, why not, right? Because this is what it's gonna look like when you're doing it in your kitchen. It's not gonna look like some. I live in a ten million dollar house with. And I'm a chef, even though I am a chef, by the way, professionally trained chef in my own kitchen, but I did go to culinary school. So, all for it. I'm going to measure for today because that was around two thirds. Ah, uh, that was around a half a cup of pecans. And then today I'm going to measure in my, oh my gosh, seriously, this is so funny. I don't remember what this is called. The push, and <laughs> the push and measure. Hold on, I need to find out. Or whatever. Okay, anyway. So you pull it down. See that? I'm going to do... Let's see. I'm going to do... Dun, dun, dun. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? A third of a cup. What, baby? You can't do it. I'll help you do the other part, okay? And you can help me on the camera. I'm using it. So you fill it up at the top. Normally, if it's like mayonnaise or something, it's going to be super hard to do. So I filled it up, and then you just bloop. So this was a little bit more apricot preserves than we were supposed to have in there. And it's probably still not going to be enough for me to be happy. So I'll show you. Ooh. Yeah, it's like not even close. Not even close to what I would want it to be. I need more apricot preserves. Oh my God, it's so good. With the brie. I'm going to do like, like a lot. Okay, so how much was in this jar? Hold on, let me see. This was 10 ounces. I probably used seven ounces. Even six ounces. So good. Yeah, so that's how I like it. I like it to be like saucy, you know? It's gotta be saucy. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I just want to show everybody what Brie looks like because I realized that not a lot of people know what brie is, they don't know what it looks like, they don't know what it tastes like. Well, it tastes delicious, and this is what it looks like when you buy it. Like a little round container. This is what it looks like when I buy it. This is one brand, this is one kind. Um, it's like five and a half bucks. Yeah, five fifty. dollars um, And you open it up. <clears throat> Put that aside, and it's wrapped. And it's not the prettiest thing in the world, so when you unwrap it, it has a rind on it, like a, I don't know, like another cheese casing. So bad, I should totally know better ways to explain this. But this is what it looks like. Like a weird little sort of cheesy wrapped cheese. It's a little strong of a smell, but it's not quite like a blue cheese or gorgonzola or feta. But it does have a, a very distinct smell that I love. <clears throat> and then when you cut it, so you're going to cut it this way. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody cares. Boop. So that you have two halves. And when you stack them, you're going to stack them like this. So you're going to put... The middles are going to face up like that. Ah, so you're going to put one down, spread your yummy, yummy apricot jalapeno pecan goo on it, put the second one on top, put more, so you can use half and half, and then it's going to look pretty, and I'm going to show you in a minute what it's going to look like, and then we'll put it in the oven, and then, and then, and then I'll just keep showing you things. This is what half looks like. Isn't it pretty? I think it's so pretty and it's so gooey and so yummy. 
And I can't wait for you to see it when it kind of looks like that, except for it's gonna look better because mine's better. <laughs> This is Pamper Chef, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna buy this one. Is this what you put your pizza on? Um, I put lots of things on here. I have so no, many stones. No, 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 no.